Hey everyone, this is Sir ML and please subscribe to my channel. In this video, we're going to be looking a little bit into the ultra structure of mitochondria. The mitochondria are cell organelles found in all eukaryotic cells and are the sites of cellular respiration and fatty acid oxidation. Therefore, the mitochondria produces the major bulk of the cell's ATP. They vary in shape from cell to cell and some are round or oval and some are tubular and narrow. They have a diameter of about 1 micrometers and their length varies between 1 and 10 micrometers. These, these are membrane bound organelles and are therefore enclosed within selectively permeable membranes or boundaries. The mitochondria are enclosed by two membranes that have their own unique combination of proteins embedded in the phospholipid bilayers. The outer membrane is smooth and on its outer surface, the outer membrane will have certain pores that form these channels that allow certain ions and molecules to enter. So it is highly selectively permeable and these channels are referred to as the porins. On, on the inside of the outer membrane, there will be another membrane that is also made up of a phospholipid bilayer and this particular membrane will be pushed inside into the lumen of the mitochondria to form these uh, convoluted infoldings that are referred to as the cristae. So you have the outer membrane here and the inner membrane. And remember these membranes are made up of or composed of a phospholipid by layer. So these infoldings are known as cristae or uh, when you refer to only one of them it is crista. So the inner membrane as well as the outer membrane will divide the mitochondria into two compartments. The outer compartment also known as the intermembrane space, we'll write that down here, and the inner compartment or matrix. So the inner membrane will contain the fluid filled matrix that will contain certain enzymes that are involved in cellular respiration as well as ATP production and also will have its own mitochondrial DNA okay and what's special about this particular uh, DNA is that uh, the mitochondrial DNA will only be inherited from the mother if you think about it logically uh, especially during the process of fusion of gametes when the sperm fertilizes the egg what will happen only the head of the sperm will enter into the cytoplasm of the egg to fuse with the nucleus right whereas the middle piece that contains the paternal mitochondria as well as its tail will be discarded so hence all the mitochondria in our cells of our bodies will be containing DNA that is only inherited from the mother besides DNA the matrix will also contain certain enzymes that are involved in the metabolic activities of the cell especially cellular respiration and also certain ribosomes when we zoom in in this particular portion of the mitochondria we can see how these two membrane look like how how the inner and outer mitochondrial membranes look like so let's do that I'll insert an image here that is mitochondria and I'll zoom in here and here you can see both the outer membrane as well as the inner membrane are made up of these two layers of phospholipid molecules so these, so these phospholipid molecules are amphiphatic and, and that means they have a polar head which is hydrophilic or uh, attracted to water and non-polar tail 
which is hydrophobic and water repellents. Okay. So these phospholipid molecules will make up the bulk of the membranes of all uh, cell organelles of eukaryotic cells including the mitochondria. We can see here uh, the space between the inner membrane and the outer membrane is the intermembrane space and on the inside of the inner membrane we have the matrix. This particular side of the inner mitochondrial membrane that faces the matrix this will be called as the M site whereas this side of the inner mitochondrial membrane that faces the outside or cytosol will be called the C site. And again, embedded within the inner mitochondrial membrane are certain proteins that are a part of the membrane and, sp and span the entire uh, dimensions of the inner membrane. These are known as transmembrane proteins. Some proteins are, you know, only embedded on the peripheral side. Some proteins are also present within the inner membrane itself. And these are referred to integral proteins. Okay. And there is one very specialized protein complex that is present within the inner mitochondrial membrane which is known as the F1, F0 ATP synthase or oxisome. This particular protein complex actually makes ATP through the process of phosphorylation. And we can see that a part of this protein complex, the F0 part, is embedded within the inner mitochondrial membrane or as the F1 knob is protruding into the matrix. That is all about the ultrastructure of mitochondria. Hope you found this video helpful and please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you.